Doug Williams here in Studio 41 at SNY's New York City Studios. Keith Hernandez joins us from Philadelphia. He, of course, had some strong opinions last night during our broadcast about Jose Urania hitting Ronald Acuna Jr. Keith, since you have now, I'm sure, watched the video countless times since your comments, have your opinions changed at all about what you saw occur? Uh, I only needed to see it once, and that's uh, all I have seen it. And uh, my opinions haven't changed. I don't think the pitch was uh, that bad, to be honest with you. It wasn't anywhere near the head. I was very clear in the booth uh, that I, I draw the line on anything from the neck above, head hunting, and also with a pitcher with an intent to hurt. Uh, sometimes you have to brush people back. This is an incredible streak that Acuna is on right now, and a home run streak to boot uh, the pitch, what I saw. It started out on the inner half, uh, a little bit on the inside corner and ran inside. It was around waist level. Acuna could have turned his back. Who knows? I'm, it, it's, it's split second. But he did drop his elbow to deflect the ball, and uh, unfortunately he got hit in the elbow, and that's one place you don't want to get hit. If he hadn't gotten his elbow there, he would have been hit on the side by the waistline or in the small of his back, and everything would have been fine. Uh, so... Uh, I stand firmly by what, what I said, and I don't think the pitch was that, was that terrible. When you get thrown at, uh, usually the pitcher throws it a foot behind the hitter because the hitter's first reaction is to back off away from the plate when the ball comes, and you back off right into it. This was not behind the hitter. It was started out around three inches inside and ran inside and uh, struck Acuna in the elbow. So the most common retort to your opinion, Keith, is if you really want to prove a point to the guy, beat him fair and square, strike him out. Nobody gets hurt that way. What are your thoughts on that point of view? Well, you know, the game has had gone through changes. Uh, they've outlawed throwing inside at the players today now, and I understand their feelings. They're not used to getting thrown at. If they are, both benches are, warning, are warned uh, in my day. Uh, I was hit 32 times, and that doesn't count all the times that I, had, that I hit the deck and avoided getting hit uh, countless times more. Um, so I understand where they're coming from. I go, but you know what? Uh, the other argument is it's a last place team. Well, what do you want? No competition. You're in last place, so you lay down and die. You know, Urania's got a, probably a wife and kids. He's got, a, he's got mouths to feed. He's got a living to make. He's not out there going to lay a cookie in. I have no issue with someone knocking someone back. And if it hits him, it hits him. Uh, it, but long as it's, you know, around the fanny, waist, lower back, a place where it hurts the least, I haven't had an issue with it. And I stand firm on that. And you mentioned this while you were saying it last night. You knew your comments were going to anger some people. So can you understand why some baseball fans, some Braves fans would strongly disagree with your comments because Acuna is a star young player and was hurt on the play? Or is your opinion so rooted in your personal experience on the field that you find it perplexing that anyone would take it that way? Well, and as far as the Atlanta fans are concerned, I totally understand that. I'm kind of happy that there's that kind of excitement uh, coming from uh, the Atlanta fans uh, for their team, uh, they've got a very good team, and I think that it's a team that, and I've said on the air, that I, I feel is going to win the division over Washington and Philadelphia, and they're a fun team to watch. They're the, one of the most fun teams for me in the booth to cover a game on, and uh, I look forward to it. But I, I'm glad to see them have this kind of emotion and excitement for their ball club. Uh, I wish it would be vented somewhere else. But, you know, fans are fans. You've got social media now. Everybody's got an outlet and everybody can pile on, and that's fine. You know, uh, I have no problem with it. A lot of people are comparing and contrasting, Keith, what Noah Syndergaard did to Alcides Escobar in the World Series against the Royals. He buzzed him up and in, went back to the backstop, and he said, you know, you've got a problem with, me, with it. You come meet me 60 feet, 6 inches, and, and we'll have a discussion. Do you think a lot of the optics here change things because Acuna did get hit by the pitch, because he had to leave the game? Would it be very different if he had just gotten buzzed by the pitch Maybe warnings were made uh, to each dugout and you move forward. Is the, the reason this is such a big deal because it's a young superstar who got hit by the actual pitch and had to leave the game? It's the change in the rules, how these hitters don't get thrown at. And the, uh, I think I've always said in the booth that I feel it's put the hitter more in jeopardy because he has no fear of getting knocked down. Does it, so they don't expect it. Uh, they don't know how to turn their back, get out of the way of the ball, most of them, not all of them. 
Uh, it's not part of the game anymore, and I think it puts the hitter in uh, more jeopardy than when I played. I know that if I had never had a streak like Acuna, and Acuna is such a fine player, and having a great season, and going through a streak right now that's historic. If I had five home runs uh, leading off, or just five home runs in any uh, consecutive games, by the th second game, I would be a little weary in the third, uh, uh, not weary, wary in the third game. And if I didn't get knocked down in the third game and I hit another home run, I knew I'd be going down in the fourth game. That's not part of the game today, and I understand that, and I'm fine with it. But when a situation like this happens, that pitch was nowhere close to his head. It was uh, where Syndergaard's pitch was near the head, and that was a World Series game, and everybody said, oh, the Mets come back and win, all the riders at the Mets come back and win the, this World Series. This is the watershed moment. Syndergaard making his statement. It was ballyhooed. That's only two and a half years ago that that happened, that World Series. Now it's a whole different ball game. Keith, we really appreciate you uh, joining us to talk more about this from, from Philadelphia. Thank you so much. And also, too, I, you know, I don't want any harm done. I hope that the, the scans come out uh, on, uh, on Acuna. Everything's negative, and it, well, he doesn't miss too many games. He's a, gay, he's a fine player and a part of a really, really good team. I think we can all agree on that. Thanks, Keith.